Gabe felt like we saw that defensive front really, you know, impose its will uh, in that game. What, what would that feel like to, to really make your mark? Oh, yeah. Uh, it felt good. Um, you know, the game plan was just to be fast and physical this whole weekend. Just to, you know, impose our will was a, was a good moment for us in the D-line. It's when T-Rod can also get some pressure, like, straight up the middle. What, what does that maybe let the defense do more of? Um, really just, you know, be able to do different things because he's just so, you know, mobile. He can do different stuff. He's really good at games. So, you know, the Pandora's box for our defense just opens up. You immediately get that tackle for loss at the beginning of the game. How does that get you hyped for the rest of the game? A well, like the whole game plan was just to set the tone. And, you know, that's what I did, just set the tone of the game. So, a really good feeling. And uh, you just, you know, capitalize off of there. Tell me about playing two different positions. And what all goes into that? Um, do you like one more than the other, or does it, is it an opportunity for you? It's a lot of preparation for sure. You know, I just got to watch the whole line now, not just, you know, the tackles. I got to watch the guard, center. So just a lot of preparation goes into it. You know, I mean, I love both. You know, I don't favor one, but I'm just enjoying it and just enjoying that role. Seems like you guys have a problem, though. Go ahead. Oh. Sure. Go. You get a debut sense that you're playing like a half step faster a little bit because you've seen everything compared to last year? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, especially inside the four hour. I think I've seen a lot of things faster. The game's um, definitely slowing down for me, so I can see a lot of things more cleanly. Clean. It does seem like you, you've had more keys on the RPO stuff than you had last year. Is oh, for there, sure. Is there something to that? Um, just hours of film study. What, what do you think of that four-eye position? Do you, do you feel it suits you, or uh, how is it different than, than playing on the edge? Um, definitely. I mean, this is the block schemes I get. I mean, it's definitely different in terms of, you know, handing the dirt. You know, I got to read different things. But, I mean, it's no different for me. Just got to have the same mentality, you know, every play. Um, it's been fun. Um, you know, I've been just watching Johnny Keith, how they did it. You know, just, you know, try to replicate my, my game style to them. I know Aaron Henry was going through a difficult situation this week. How badly did you guys want to play well for him? I really well. I mean, you know, you know, we got Ahan back, and we just wanted to play for him. You know, it's just incredible how he came back. You know, just despite what he had to deal through, but um, you know, we just wanted to play for him, and the guys just came together. And that's what we did. Today. Did you guys learn about yourselves, prove to yourselves in these to three and zero start? What did you learn? Oh, uh, just go one and zero every day. I mean, or yeah, every day, just that one and zero mentality. Not you know, any team we play, just that one and zero. We're not looking above or uh, you know behind. Just one and zero each game, and just taking it. You know. As it is. When you start to see things faster, how much does that allow you to just get out there and just play and just go after the football rather than thinking too much? Same more time. When you start to th see things faster in the game, how much does that allow you to just go out there and just kind of just play? I mean, it's good. I mean, it's an advantage for sure, you know, especially for me, just in that four hour position or wherever I'm at in the field. I just have certain keys and just play off of that and just lock into my keys and my, my responsibilities. Did we hear you guys talk about like this one and zero mentality? It seems like Coach Bielman's got a little nugget each week that, that he hammers home with you guys. Like, why is he effective at keeping you guys so locked in like that week over week? Just because um, we don't want to look ahead. You know, I mean, a lot of people want to look, you know, games far away. We just want to focus on the game at, you know, at, at hand. Just, just prepare for that game for that week and not just look ahead into the future. Just focus on that game and go one and zero. Was getting getting more pressure on the quarterback this week a, a point of emphasis and. Uh, uh, something you guys saw on film, maybe an opportunity that you had? Yeah, we just thought, you know, the online we had, the online they had, we just think that we could have got after the quarterback. So, I mean, that was the whole game plan this week, just to go after the quarterback, and that's what we did. They got near territory, I think, five or six times today. How are you able to turn some of those into field goals and, and hold them out of the end zone? You know, just, you know, playing together, just doing our jobs, and not just, you know, breaking, you know, bend on break. So, we just stick together doing our job and just, you know, putting the fire out. I know it's only three games, but. Defense has obviously made a lot of improvements. Just what do you think has been the key to that? Um, just, you know, being focused, you know, not um, looking in the past, you know, not getting high, but not getting too low, just being consistent, you know, you know, making a good play, you know, just next play mentality, you know, not, you know, you know, sticking on the highs, but not sticking on the lows as well. It's hard to answer this, but you have been in the backfield a lot as a pass rusher. When he's doing that, like, what's that do for you guys as a defensive front? You know, just him going to the backfield is crazy because he's a nose, but I mean, you know, he's been effective, you know, that just make me play better. Just knowing that him as a nose is, you know, causing havoc in the backfield, just make me play faster and better and just, you know, get me more riled up. How critical is that position to that defensive front? Very critical. I mean, just the heart of the defense, you know. If you don't have a good nose, you know, the defense, you know, might, might not be too good. You might have got the sack like you and Dennis, but it seemed like Seth like, was really impactful there. What did you see from him today? Man, I mean, I thought, I mean, he got a sack on the field. I mean, it should have been a sack in my eyes, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, Seth is a good player. You know, I'm proud of him and what he's been going through and just 
just him playing every play, just and it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, seeing what, you know, the strides he's been taking as a player.